In the previous aspects, I discussed that those who a mean cutoff point was around 57 percent. But what about the population between 40 to 57 percent? Can I start with them? Naturally, we know we have data where we have ejection fraction less than 40, where army has shown improvement. More than 60, army has shown improvement. Now, what about this mid-range ejection fraction? That is what I am trying to highlight on. Now, if you see this slide on 2022 about the AHA, ACC, HFSA guidelines, it is clearly stated that ARNI is a class 2B indication when the patient has got symptomatic heart failure uh, with uh, ejection fraction more than 50%. This new FT indication opens up the use of SACVAL in patients with a mid-range of ejection fraction, preserved ejection fraction. So if this enlightens us the fact that it is not a drug for the preserved ejection fraction. A preserved ejection fraction may gradually improve to the mid-range ejection fraction or what we call the heart failure with improving ejection fraction and my ultimately may land up with a preserved ejection fraction. So the drug is goes on or a preserved ejection fraction may gradually decrease or not put on adequate guideline directed mediated therapy, therapy like ARNI can reduce to a 40 to 57 percent or still lesser so ARNI holds good. So whatever be the percentage of ejection fraction this drug does work and that should be the take home message.